Well, here are your two world finalists ready to face off. This is it, the CWL matchups, ESL play tournaments, and all the live qualifiers down to one best of two match. It is time to start your grand final. It's alternate attacks versus Queen Walkers. And like you said, Banks, these players Everyone competed from in the in-game Clan War League in the online ESL play. They participated many months, waiting all year to get to this point. And now we have the final two teams here remaining, Bash. More than 36 million players total, 2 million teams from around the world participated in those pre-qualifier matches and it all boiled down to these eight teams and now we're down to the final two and the final ten players and here we go Carbon Finn we're underway Stadra from Queen Walkers coming in with the Super Witch Zap attack here we go it's time starting off with that Grand Warden Walker we're gonna look to use these five lightning is he going to use it on this multi-target inferno or decide to drop? Wait, he's going all the way on the opposite side of this base towards that single target inferno, meaning this Grand Warden could walk into this multi to help take it down. Is he going to try to get towards this scatter shot inside of the section? And you tend to notice sometimes these alternate attack spaces has a lot of storages in the middle. Carbon, I'm a little bit worried about this. He's going to get that multi down, but check out the time. The Super Witch attack is well known for being a slower attack, and we're already ticking to that two minute mark. I'm worried about Stadra's time factors. We're gonna get going and go right up the middle of this base. We do have that Battle Blimp selected, should fly in to take out the Town Hall. Finally, all the Super Witches dropped in. He's moving his way in. The Super Witch is on the big boys, moving straight. The scatter shot's gonna eventually lock on. Here comes the Clan Castle, but the King is gonna be moved up and around this base. Super Minions getting their shots off. Balloons coming down. Hopefully they can pull off some seeking air mines and protect these healers, Bash. It's, balloons are working in there, but they're no seeking air mines. Those Ooh. Super Minions are doing work. But the witches need to go inside here. They're walking oh, no. around. Oh no, Carmen! The go? witches are going to the outside! Yeah, uh, one of them does come back into the middle. The scatter, or wait a second, we still have the scatter shot on the backside. The town hall should eventually go down, but he lost a bunch of these witches. Pops that ward in ability here. The ward, oh no, the witches, the witches are all around the outside. There's not gonna be too much support in here for the queen. We do have one super witch, but there's no big boys. There's no supporting troops. They're gonna have to make their way all the way around this base. The world champion will be able to help them out, but this is gonna be a tough go for Stadra. It is. He's still got witches up top. That queen is going to go down. Unfortunately, that jump did nothing for the queen. Does have the raw champion. The ice globes protecting her a little bit still on this backside. But this king is getting locked on and going to go down super quick to that single target inferno. The jumps may have been better served here like over this gold storage like near Wizard Tower there to get these witches a little bit further into the base. They're going to be held up, taking out the king. That royal champion is doing work on the bottom side. But Carbon, this is going to be a tough finish for Stadra. And it's going to be very difficult here. We're just under 30 seconds left. The Super Witches are on the top side up there, and they did not go to the middle. Unfortunately, Stadra's planning is going to fall short here, and Lemonade looking to put up a two-star defense, and that's been the story for Alternate Attacks. Their defensive defenses have been the storyline here of the World Finals. 76% two-star, a huge misstep for Stadra as we had plenty of troops still up. The time just ran out with that long warden walk. And again, going in with another ground, coming in with that P.E.K.K.A. Smash, going in, taking the five lightning as well. The P.E.K.K.A. Smash has been a favorite here in the semifinals here today, uh, using that Quake and Lightning spell combination to take down that single target Inferno and deal some damage to that enemy queen as well, using that sneaky Galvin to get some damage onto that storage. This is shaping up nicely for Yo-Yo, but he's going to have to work in here. We'll see where the jump spell comes in. Perhaps is he going to go with the Warden Walk to get the multi as well? Yeah, it looks like we're seeing another Warden Walk going down, but remember, we had Stadra took over a minute for his Warden Walk. How long is this going to take Yo-Yo for this? It's not looking too bad here. As long as this Warden, yes, the Warden t locks onto the Multi Inferno next, which is looking pretty safe here. Then he can set up this funnel and charge his way straight into the Town Hall with the Pekka and Bowlers. 
Time could be an issue here though as we're ticking away to that two minute mark. But once that multi drops, he goes ahead and throws the queen, the pekkas, and the bowlers in. And this smash is looking to smash through the core of this base. King and Siege Barracks gonna keep everything in line. And Ice Golem is going to protect that king from the single target Inferno beautifully here. As long as he can continue through this core, he's going to pop that Grand Warren Channel Tome. Protects the Balloons. They move on their way into the middle as well. Some red air bombs pop, which means these healers are completely protected in the core here, Bash. Those healers, the balloons in front of the healers are going to protect even longer. The queen finally pops that Lava Hound. But here we go. Oh no, where did all the bowlers and Pekka's oh. go? Did the scatters take those all down here? I believe that's what happened, Carbon. That was looking so strong, but then I, I blinked and the P.E.K.K.A.s and Bullers are gone within an instant. He's got Valkyries that came out of the Siege Barracks over towards that Eagle Artillery, but the scatter shots, maybe the Eagle Artillery combination of everything just did so much damage to his troops. You're right, you blink and you missed it because that happened so instantly. It's looking so strong, but once that Warden's ability wore off, it was rough, but he still has quite a bit up here fighting the time now. That Royal nice. Champion getting the defenses down. Carbon, he's still got a shot here. He's got a shot. Use that final free spell onto the ground expo. The Royal Champion's gonna have to come in clutch. Can't drop these wizards or clean up until these defenses around the area have been cleared. But unfortunately, the Royal Champion won't make it much further than this Archer Tower. He's gonna come down to this queen running around, but where is she gonna go? It is an open wall there. But unfortunately, less than 25 seconds now remaining. Not enough time with six, seven buildings down at the southern portion of this base. The queen should have no issue clearing up this top portion, but no way she and the warden will be able to get all the way back down to clean this one up. So it's going to be a two-star high 90 attack here for Yo-Yo23. And these clans are knotted up at two stars with alternate attacks. Having that percentage advantage still anyone's ball game in this best of two. And check this out. Stars with a massive balloon army here with a zap quake as well. Six lightning spells and an earthquake. We don't have a poison. I I'm looking to lo learn, learning to look for that as you mentioned previously, Carmen. So perhaps going to take down this clan castle and set up nicely for the Lalo. Yes, he absolutely can. He does have six, which means... He could decide to use a lightning for whatever comes out of the clan castle if he doesn't want to take it down, but he does decide to do it. So there is the lightning on the CC. He's gonna help take that down. He's got two earthquakes as well, and he drops it just angled to help take that clan castle down one final. And there it is. Oh, that last lightning removed it. I was a little worried there, Bash. He was being super precise there, but look at this, 20 seconds ticked away. Now, the nice thing is, is you can be a little bit slower with those drops because the Lalo tends to be a faster attack. Once you get everything going, you dive your heroes in, you take down the Town Hall, the Lalo can really breeze through a base, right, Carbon? Absolutely, as long as you have the pathing. You don't want to fight the sweepers. Both of them are pointing towards nine and three o'clock. So he's clearing this bottom side towards the town hall, which means the wall wrecker, he won't have a clan castle to deal with the enemy queen or royal champion. But as long as his heroes clear one of those heroes, the queen, that could be incredible value. But uh, I don't know if that king and queen can make it there. The king sneaks in there, but he's low on health and gets oh. taken out by the scatter splatted to the floor. The queen's going to try. Oh, but she takes a scatter shot as well. Oh. I think you're right, Carbon. I don't think they're going to get this queen down. Wait a sec, he freezes and the queen goes! Oh. Wait, I think oh. she's gone. Uh, wait, unless she's got no health. What is it? No, she's oh. got a little bit. She's got a sliver of health just left. Oh no, now this queen is going to fight through a sweeper that's pointing right over the top of the queen here. Oh man, this is not looking too good. He needs to get through with one ground expo, kind of protecting the queen. One headhunter is going to get like a shot off on her as he's trying to oh, fly he around. Oh, yeah. The headhunter got her. Uh, queen goes down between the headhunter and the lava pups. It was enough. But pops the warden's ability here to keep these troops alive. You mentioned fighting that sweeper. It's pushing them back really, really hard here. And in this best of two format, you want to make sure you don't fall behind on stars early. And stars is trying to do just that. Hasten these balloons through. Three minions remain in the yes. camp. And here come those last three headhunters. Look at that. The balloons moving through. Went through the red air bomb farm. But wait a second. The, oh no. The, the enemy world champion. She's doing so much work. A giant bomb. Oh. The headhunter tries oh. to take her out. The balloons go down. And unfortunately, stars is going to fall short. 
The headhunters got held up on the king, and then they went into the royal champion and caught a giant bomb! Stars is not gonna get it, and it's another lower percentage. The Queen Walkers are gonna be behind well on percent here. Alternate attack can really put themselves in a commanding spot if they can learn, not learn, but manage to three star this next Queen Walkers base. Wow, what a surprise. Yeah, and the pressure is rising. Yes, these are the pro players, the best players in the world. To go, and here we go with a zap quick Lalo yet again, Carbon. He is ready. He's going to take out this clan castle with the three earthquakes and five lightning. Down it goes real quick. He's going to help set it up. And look, he drops that one barbarian. I love it. He's testing for the Teslas. That's why he decided to drop the barbarian there to make sure a Tesla wouldn't force that king to run back up. Now the king's going to make his way into the Sarah defense, take out the multi, the royal champion. Beautiful value that I'm seeing here. I like that. You pointed it out. King's going to go in and take that king out. No issue. Queen's going to work her way up. Carmen, do you think this queen could get all the way towards that town hall with the ice golem out in front? I think so. I think that's his plan so far. Plus, some Tesla that popped in this section, which is a ton more value here. Queen's making her way straight towards this town hall. He might have to invest a free spell to protect this queen through this storage, but this is looking incredible so far. Wow, this Sui from the from Ass's Heroes going in and taking down the Town Hall. Gonna get this single as well. Yes. So much value from that. And here we go. The Lalo's gonna get ready. Stone Slammer's coming in and setting up really nicely. He needs to put a three-star on the board for his team. Let's see if he can do it. Beautiful thing is the only real threat he has to worry about is that Eagle Artillery and the Defending Queen. Yes, there are some scatter shots, but he has the Warden ability and some free spells to really make his way through here. Plus that Stone Slammer is tanking the scatter shot, pops the ability early for these Headhunters that are taking out the Queen. The Headhunters, oh my goodness, they got it down. But you're right, that Stone Slammer tank oh the whole scatter shot. Freeze comes in on the second with Tornado Trap, spinning his troops right around. Wow. He's gonna have to move into his final compartment, Carbon. He is going in with taking out that scatter shot finally, and he's moving his back to the back section of the space. And this is oh. looking like the first three star of the finals. Here we go. Alternate attacks, getting that triple. Ash getting it done with the Zap Lala. What an incredible attack. Exactly what his team needed. The Zap Lala was well executed there. Got so much value from the heroes and those lightning spells and finished it off strong. Great use of the spells. We talked about spell placement. The spells were on point during this attack and that'll put alternate attacks in front after two attacks, five to four banks. I don't even think that I could count the amount of balloons that were still up there. Eve Maxi giving them the fist bump. Nice. All that work is coming down to these two wars. We're gonna see him coming in with that Queen Walk Dragons. We haven't seen this attack in such a long time, Bash. Not at all. I'm really surprised. I'm examining, looking for like lightning spells. I'm examining, looking for like super. Nope, we're, we're just going straight up Queen Walk Dragons here. I like it, Gaku. He does have those two super walkers. He's gonna look to push this queen nice in here. But she may, if she can get into the scatter shot, she'll have nice access through some very valuable defenses here. Yeah, that queen's charging in with the super wall breakdown. Can get access to the enemy royal champ. The scatter shot, quite a bit of value. Does have another super wait oh. this queen. Oh, the queen! Hang on, queen! Ooh, she's she's holding on, Carmen. She's she's holding on. She <laughs> oh, she gets through the scatter. She's got to get through the king next, but she's looking fine. But does have one headhunter in the cop. We'll see where that comes in, but the Queen's gonna be nice and healthy there with the Rage spell. Look at the value. Royal Champion coming in and helping set the pathway for those dragons to come right in towards that Town Hall. Sweeper goes down and that is crucial. He drops that Poison spell onto these Headhunters with the Lava Hound sent, coming over to that Queen. She can then work on the Eagle Artillery, but the Eagle's locked down to this Queen. It might need to drop another Rage for her to keep her alive. He does pop the ability. Can the Queen stay alive? And she does just there. There's the Rage to keep her going as the Dragons are pushing away to the Town Hall. Oh, the Queen is barely hanging out there, but the Dragons are now making their way into the Town Hall. Free spell goes down, and they should have no issues dispersing of this Town Hall, especially with that Warden's Eternal Tome protecting not only the Dragons, but the Balloon, but the Sweeper does push off. These Balloons may take some damage. Oh, the Warden ability oh. protected just long enough, Carbon. 
King's ability still, he just pops it right there. The Queen's staying up. She's getting some incredible value on this backside. These dragons, as long as they're staying alive, need to take this bottom air defense down. The King's running around. The multi's about to go down from the King. He's hanging on. There's the free spell. The ground skeleton's slowing him down, but the Queen's going to beat through this wall. King OP, that king got so much value. The queen's still going. So many dragons. Gaku's got the response oh. for the queen walkers. This is just what they needed. A three star to put them back in the ball game. What a beautiful attack here. Turns the queen charge dragon into the triple. We've been seeing a lot of the hero dive with the dragons, but this time keeping that queen alive, using the rages, got so much value through that charge, got scatter shots, got the, took out the clan castle, the eagle artillery, and those dragons did work. Oh, Lenade switching it up from the ground, and he's going to the air attacks. Coming in with the Zap Lalo, not gonna take out that clan castle because he's taking in a poison as well. Let's see the incredible value. Decides to drop it up near the queen, T damages her a little bit. Down goes that scatter shot. Now he's gonna help send his heroes potentially into this eagle artillery to help set up a Lalo pathing so he doesn't have to worry about that firing upon his balloons. Bringing in the king to help set the pathing as well. Here comes a super wall breaker to open up this compartment. It lands, it connects on that wall. Here comes that royal champion as well with the king out in front. The queen should go right in here, take out that eagle artillery and have a nice path to help get that queen down. The king, honestly, oh, she doesn't jump over the wall though, Carbon. So he's gonna have to beat through a wall if he wants that queen. Yeah, unfortunately, he did have to use that free spell to protect the royal champion a little bit more, but he is using the poison spell on the clan castle that's coming out, which is very nice. Did he miss the minions, though? He missed him a little bit, there, but I feel like the queen's ability should be able to help take him down, so it's going to be okay here. I think you start the wall from the top side because the sweeper is not pointing that way. The queen, yeah, you're right. The queen will get... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. there they go. Whoa, Get the whoa, minions whoa, down. Whoa. The royal champion dropped. I thought it was the queen, but he's going to bring the Lalo wow. in from the bottom and have he to is. go in and deal with that sweeper, Carbon. He is coming in with the Lalo from the bottom side. The big thing, the sweeper is kind of pointing this direction, but the one thing he can grab is that royal champion down there. But the queen, unfortunately, not going to be able to... Oh, so he is going to go with the blimp here to be sure to at least lock up that town hall here. The queen was locked onto the royal champion, but she ran away. And yeah. now that the royal champion's staying up on defense, but the balloons drop, get her down. Oh, wow. wow, a little bit of luck there, but the royal champion does fall. Just a few defenses remain here for you to 14's base on defense. Not too many balloons. He's pushing his way through. They can easily overwhelm this top side. He's got one balloon left. He can drop it up there. It finds a tornado trap over there, but this is looking good. He's out of spells. He's got the balloons coming in, and Lene getting it done again for alternate attacks. Alternate attacks showing why they be belong in this world final. One of the favorites coming into this weekend, and they are putting on a show for us here today. 14 stars in both of their first wars, and they're back on pace for the same here. Lene gets the job done with a massive hero dive into a beautiful Lalo. Man, that was so well executed. I like what he did there and got the job done. And that pushes this team's lead even further here. Eight to seven, Banks. Alternate attacks once again. Final playoffs into, into the finals. He has two three-star attacks. Attacking from his phone oh. is so impressive with the Lalo. And we got a clone in this army comp. Yeah. Carb. Look at that. A clone spell. And look at his stats. He's got four for four. He's got 12 stars. He's perfect with every single triple. He's got a clone spell. He's got two skeletons. He's dropping the skeletons right away to distract the wizard tower and scatter as the royal champion goes in here. That's such a unique use of the skeleton spell. That skeleton trap's going to be a little bit of a pain, but it's going to take a little bit of the pressure off of this royal champion so she can get the proper value that she wants and perhaps even get the scatter and Eagle what? Artillery as we have the Queen following at this wall wrecker. He felt that that was the right call because if he went with three spells, then those Expos would have been locked onto the Royal Champion even longer. So that was actually an incredible choice to use the Skeleton spells for the RC. 200 IQ plays for the Queen Walkers coming out here. And look at this Queen. She's going to get some value. And here comes that clone spell. And cloning up a herd of balloons in the middle. But tons and tons of bombs. Oh, no. no carbon. He didn't get much value because of the air bombs. 
What? The air bombs ruined the clone spell of the balloons. I was thinking that might be an E-Dragon, maybe take a Rage, but he's still got a double poison to use. But those red air bombs, the Seeking Air Mines destroyed the clone loons. That was so many balloons that went down so fast. It was looking so nice, and I think he kind of expected that there, or expected something. That's why he oh. wanted to get that compartment out to set the pathing, but nothing from that clone. Three wet, wasted spell space, essentially. It's going to be all on the Lalo here to yeah. finish this base off. The Lalo's coming through, but wait a second. Is there anything coming out of this clan castle? I don't think so. There I is don't see anything. There's probably like an, maybe an ice cold lava or something in here, but there is nothing coming out, so he can decide to use these poison spells anywhere on this base now. That is crazy. He's going to poison the heroes over here. The queen, slow her down, but you're right. I wonder what was in that clan castle. Perhaps Lava Hound, uh, Inferno Dragon even, but he's got to get to that scatter. That scatter is doing some work. There goes the oh, Lava Hound Sneakies with the Headhunter, but... Oh no, the headhunter's on offense. There's the that lava scatter shot's doing work, Carbon. Yeah, that scatter shot with the balloons. Don't tell me. Oh, get in there! Get in there! They do! Oh! The balloons take out the scatter! Oh. They're moving to the window! No nice. way! Claw still can get this! He can't, he's gotta move this hound, but the hound's gonna be quite a bit annoying here. They're gonna take out this king with 30 seconds left, Bash! It's close! He's got he's got the troops, oh. he's just gotta have the time. Archer's gonna what? pull the lava hound away. Carbon, he may oh. just do this! 20 seconds left. The Blues are moving up and around. They're taking out the army camps up top. He's got some minions down south to help take out the storage. The Blues need to move the way through. No He's going to do it. Klaus is doing it. 98. 99. The Hound is about to pop. The Blues get down. He's done it. Oh, what? Three stars for Queen. To capitalize here with a Lalo of his own with lightning spells and an earthquake as well. He is. We've seen the triple from the Yeti or the pack of Bobat earlier from Boom. And now he's looking to switch it up, bring it to the air game. Coming in with that Lala, we're seeing another poison spell being used here. And we're seeing quite a bit of these attacks using wall wreckers nowadays. Man, oh, this is going to be intense. He can really keep the pressure on. Lightning spells go in quick down as well and he's gonna finish off the queen i like how they let that queen rotate so they can get the proper value out of those lightning spells and here we go setting up the padding for this wall wrecker to come right in towards the town hall wall wrecker is being set off with moving his way through has to pull out the clan castle unfortunately in this charge here comes that cc as the lava hound headhunters decides to use that poison pops that king ability but the wall wrecker is gonna activate the town hall unfortunately and it is hitting this queen now Ugh. The town hall is nearly down, and there we go. Finally gets down from the sneaky goblins, but there we go with the lava hound popping as well. Town hall secured. Queen still has her ability, and we still have that royal champion yet to be deployed on the battlefield, which we usually see before the Lalo comes in. But these pups are not going down. Those are going to be a bit of a distraction. Yeah, these pups are going to be quite a bit annoying. Still has the royal champion to deploy. Where does he want to use her? Starts the Lalo now. He's going to move his way up top and around the base. Get ready for the Grand Warden potentially to come down and around. Some Tesla's popping up. Hound will die really quick here. But this scatter shot, it's in a very awkward position here, Bash. He's got to get there as quick as possible. A few shots from that scatter shot will take down a whole pack of balloons. Luckily for him, the scatter shot stays locked onto the Lava Hound just a little bit longer and a beautifully timed Warden's ability to protect that pack of balloons from the Warden. And here we go. Finally, the Royal Champion comes in on that left-hand side, Carbon. Royal Champion's moving in. Going to help take this down. Does decide to use that free spell. Going to help take down the single target for no. Pops the ability. Down it goes. One more shot. Oh. And no. No, he has got to use another free spell here. Oh no, the Royal Champion didn't get the single down because the defending Royal Champion was there. But look at these balloons. The balloons are oh, doing no. some work, but with that with two wizard towers, I don't think he's oh. going to have enough. This could be the opening that Queen Walkers is looking for. This could leave the door wide open for a neck-to-neck -neck war after four attacks. Oh man. Boom, not going to get it, Carbon. Bash, you talked about that. We both did. You get one opportunity you get one failed attack pretty much in these types of wars and this is alternate attack slip up right here the question is can the queen walkers take advantage it is now brought back to them it's gonna be the lowest percentage that we're seeing here from alternate attacks 
only a 78% two star. Wow, that was with an attack that could be very strong, but also super risky. The queen in charge, Lalo, he's going to send the blimp in right away towards that eagle artillery. The blimp on the eagle should take it down without issue. He's going to weaken up that single target Inferno with the Earthquake Lightning combination as well. No rage on these Yetis here. They're going to look for those Yeti mites to take down the eagle artillery. And then we should see that world champion come in at some point to take down that single target Inferno. We're going to look to clear out some of the defenses with this epic queen charge. 20 balloons, 12 minions. Doesn't want to be short on cleanup. And you spoke to this, Carbon. You don't want to ever second guess yourself. You want to make sure you leave it all on the line here. No safe two stars. You want to go with what you're comfortable with, but yep. not leave it on the table. Absolutely. And this is an attack that Utah is comfortable with. It's risky, but he's going with stuff that he knows what to do the best. And the biggest reason is if something goes wrong, he can adjust this on the fly. He can think about it. When you go with an attack that you don't really do, you don't know, it's really difficult for you to fix it on the fly, and that's what he's going in with here. That queen charging her way straight towards that bomb tower. Pops the ability, down goes the single like you mentioned earlier. Man, oof, that was so close, but the ability comes out. Check this out. We got headhunters, we got inferno dragons, we got archers, we got a whole hodgepodge of wow in this clan castle. But he does have that poison, and the queen is very healthy. Look at this! Another what? wall break to open up towards the scatter shot. This queen is charging so nice through this base and a perfect poison this queen is getting so much value with another rage down might have to invest that free spell onto this infernal dragon does decide to do it go oh my goodness that queen is she gone she's up no what? she's gone no. oh she's gone oh man oh she... my oh. he I had she was still up it was the king there oh no no way Tornado Trap spinning the balloons around now, gonna invest a second freeze. Oh, the devastation, he's gotta stick with it. We saw this earlier. Make it happen, get the three star if possible, but there's so much up in that queen as well, still up there. It's gonna be a tough fly through for you to 14. I am literally speeches. You guys can probably hear right now. I could not, if that queen, she could have cleared this whole core. That's what he needed to take down. And then that enemy queen is still standing. Luckily oh. pulled. Oh no, look at all these traps in the middle, Bash. All of the air bombs taking down his balloons. You're right, Carbon. If that queen stays up, this is a three star, no doubt. She gets to scatter. She finishes off the king. She potentially moves up towards that enemy queen. But instead, she goes down. And that's it. going to be an epic defense for Boom, leaving that door open for alternate attacks to take the advantage and a war to devastation. And that is what alternate attacks wanted. I am bet they are completely surprised that queen went down. They were probably looking for two to decide who is your next world champion. It's either alternate attacks or Queen Walkers. Now it's time for Volley to come in with the Zap Lalo. We've been seeing so much of this. Seven Lightning with a double poison. The seven Lightning spells with no Earthquake usually indicate Kate's he's gonna zap near that Queen or near that Headhunter or perhaps even one of the Scatter Shots. I have to see how that comes in. A lot of options here, but the Wall Wrecker is gonna open up this wall for this Queen to sneak in here and get massive value. The, the Queen and King should follow the Wall Wrecker and there we go with the Lightning Spells. Does not quite get that Queen down though, Carbon. Yeah, the Queen does stay up here in the middle of that base. We had the Multi, we had the Sweeper, but the other Sweeper is actually still standing there as well. But the Queen is so close to going down. Just one small tap from anything, like a minion, a lava pot, something, it will go down. And the Raw Champ's trying to continue this push through. The Queen on the top side's clearing lots of defenses with the support from that Ice Golem. And then the Queen, the defending wow. queen, finally goes down from the King Royal Champion combo. And look at this, this base is gutted right now. What? This, this base is, is incredible. absolutely gutted from the core out. Oh my goodness, he's gonna drop that poison there. That Royal Champ does pop, I think, yes, did pop our ability there, but he's got three hounds. There's only one air defense left here, Bash. There's not much to fly through as the clan <laughs> castle's been dealt with. That Lava Hound's not gonna be an issue as it's gonna pull off to the middle of the base. All he's gotta do is make sure he secures the Town Hall and has a good Warden ability, Tornado Trap. Yeah. 
near not effective there as it didn't get much. Vale looking strong here for the final attack for alternate attacks. Going to put his team ahead moving into the second matchup. Absolutely incredible. Pops that Grand Warden ability through the Town Hall Gigabomb. Absolutely crushing this base. Drops that final Hay spell there. Has two more balloons. Pops the Hound, and that's going to even help with the cleanup as well. And Vale coming in with another three star here today. And he's actually perfect so far. He was four for four. He's going now five for five for alternate attacks. Oh my goodness, Valet putting on a show for us, getting that three star and unpop hound to pack of balloons. It's a balloon parade on the cleanup. Valet, take your victory lap because these troops will take this one down for you and the alternate attack squad will be up. 13 to 12, moving into the second war. Not only that, but they are gonna be up massively on percentage points as well as this one gets finished off from the minions, pups to Lava Hound. Warden taking down that army camp and it's a three-star attack for Valet Banks. And just like that, we were looking at a percentage race and now it also becomes a star race. Alternate attacks get put ahead by a single star against Queen Walkers. And that just means the Queen Walkers are gonna have to really dig deep and find something somewhere if they're gonna try and catch up with alternate attacks in the second best of two war which will be coming up shortly. But look at these stats, Carbon, 13 to 12 and a high percentage for alternate attacks. Absolutely, they've got not only the star lead by one, they've also got the percentage lead, which now means Queen Walkers have to take the, those risks. So we might see uh, one star potentially from Queen Walkers because they have to enter from the opposite side of the town hall if necessary to go all out for it. Oh, excited for some of those spicy attacks. But we've got alternate attacks and Queen Walkers right there on your screens in this playoff bracket. You can then see the differential between their percentages and that one star. But they are ahead after the first war.